Hey everyone, I have panels of my Feather S2, my pre-release boards. What does pre-release mean? Well, it means that I'm going to offer these for sale as a pre-final board. I mean, they're all fully featured, nothing wrong with them, but there's no finished IDF for them yet, and obviously no CircuitPython or MicroPython or Arduino yet. But for those that want to tinker with a new S2 board that uses the internal USB and a whole bunch of other stuff, I'm going to be making a short run of these available for people to purchase. Which is a super happy thing and a super sad thing. Why is it sad? Well, I'm going to be using my pick and place machine to make these and it's going to be the last time I get to use my pick and place machine because it has been sold and I'm getting a new one. So I have to get these done today because it's not going to be here tomorrow. Let's get started. Okay, here's my stencil. I thought I ordered a bigger <laughs> stencil. It's pretty tight along the edges. So hopefully it'll be okay when I paste it. And of course the stencil's bent. It always arrives bent from JLC PCB. Because of the way they pack them just into bags. Okay. It's going to pop up a bit after I've pasted, but it should give me an even paste. Now, this board uses a lot of parts that are similar to the Tiny Pico, which is great. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff already preloaded on the pick and place machine. I think about 49 parts per board. It's quite a few parts on this. And then the rest of them are going to have to hand place. And I'm going to do just a one panel today. This is going to be interesting. I might have to double. I should have done it the other direction. Oh well, here we go. It's definitely an awkward panel to paste. But I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll be okay. Okay, so we missed some just down here. And down here. I might do that again on a new panel. Try again. And I'll wipe that one down afterwards. I feel like I'm rushing this to get this done, and I kind of am, because as I said I won't have a pick and place machine tomorrow, it's being picked up tomorrow, I might just have to do it this way, ok let's try that again, yep, I think this will be better. Okay, how did that one go? And that looks okay. Cool. Let's stick this on the pick and place machine for the last time. Here we go.
there it is. The last panel I'm ever going to do on this pick and place machine. And here it is. So, I miscalculated. It's 42 parts per board that I managed to pick and place. As you can see, there's quite a few parts I still need to put on by hand. Some caps, some resistors, crystal, some connectors, and of course the flash, the PS RAM, and the ESP32 S2. So I'm now going to assemble the rest of it by hand. Let's go. Okay, so it's the next day. It's the day that my pick and place is going. I was a little bit heavy handed on my stenciling, as you would have seen. I had to rework both of these two S2 chips, but they're done, they're fine now. Everything else reflowed really well, so I'm very happy with that. Although I will get myself a new, bigger stencil for my production run, because that was just, yeah, really too awkward to work with. So it's time to pull this apart and test one and see how it goes. Let's do that. Okay, so I've got my board, my pliers, I'm gonna gently break off the edge rails. I just need one for now. So I will take this one here. Okay, and here it is. Let's get nice and close, shall we? Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So let's go over some of the feature specs, shall we? It's got an ESP32 S2. It's got 16 megabytes of flash. 8 megabytes of PS RAM. That's stacks. It's got two onboard LDOs, 700 milliamps. The first one drives the general board. The second one is a user controllable one that has a 3 volt output only here, so not an input, just an output, that you can connect external modules and sensors and OLEDs to. It also drives the APA. Now the second LDO is controlled by both the deep sleep state of the S2 and a user controllable IO, GPIO 21. So if the board goes into deep sleep, it automatically shuts down the second LDO and it shuts down anything that's connected to it. So you save power, you don't have to worry about finding a way to shut down your peripherals. If the ESP32 S2 is awake, then you can actually shut down the second LDO via GPIO 21. There's an enable pin for the first LDO as all feather boards have as a specification. You've got an ambient light sensor on IO4. You've got an LED, blue LED on IO13, which is the common Adafruit pin. And on board LiPo charge circuitry, USB-C, got RX and TX, IO0, and everything broken out on the board so you can connect a second serial programmer to it if you want debug output. Plus we've got a quick connector over here and a JST connector over there. 
So let's plug it in and see if it works. USB-C connector. Cool. So we have our power light and we have our little charge LED flashing over there because it can't detect a battery. Let's put it into boot mode by holding down boot, pressing reset, letting go of reset and let go of boot. And it's now in CDC boot mode. Let's flash it and see if we can make this little APA start changing color. Okay, so we're going to raise. Now it's writing. It's finished writing. Now all I have to do is press reset. And look at that. Very bad set of code <laughs> on this APA. It's just something I hacked together. It's cycling through all the colors, including black, which is why it's turning off. Okay, so the board's done. It works. How cool is that? That is the last boards I'm ever going to build on my pick and place machine. So sad, but I'll build the production batch on my new pick and place machine. If anyone's interested in purchasing one of these pre-development boards, hit me up in the comments below, or you can just email me directly. Use my contact form on my website. I've only got a few of them. Some of them are already earmarked for some people. I will build more, but I can't build more right now because, of course, no pick and place, and I'm not hand assembling these. There are way too many components per board. Okay, thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and click the alarm bell to be notified if I have new videos coming out. If you're not new, welcome back. It's good to have you here. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And to my patrons, you're awesome. Until next time, catch you later. Bye.